The case is uh, unfortunately quite typical for a presentation of lung cancer. A 62-year-old uh, patient, uh, smoker, uh, who um, basically has lung cancer, which on the first presentation is already metastatic to multiple sites. This patient has a tumor in the right lung, um, but also uh, vertebral bodies that are involved uh, presenting with, uh, with pain in the neck. Um, the, the way the case is diagnosed is, is quite typical, exactly how I would do it. Um, the patient has tissue obtained, uh, which is positive for adenocarcinoma. That's uh, TTF1 uh, positive, so pretty standard. And here you have disease in the lung, uh, you have lymph nodes in the lung, and you have metastatic sites. So this is stage four uh, lung cancer. This patient had very appropriate molecular pathology work done. That's really something that's changed in the last decade that most patients um, in, in the community uh, around the United States, around the world, uh, are getting molecular testing, especially for adenocarcinoma patients. Because if there's a driver mutation, uh, these patients should get one of the oral TKI inhibitors. Uh, in this case, the patient was uh, unfortunately negative for EGFR, uh, ALK, and RAS1, a so-called triple negative patient. Uh, there, of course, are some, some minor mutations that can be looked for as well these days, uh, such as BRAF, uh, for example, HER2. But most of those would not affect what one would do for the first-line therapy. Uh, this patient also was tested for PDL1, which is very important because at the time that this patient was treated with a PDL1 status of zero, uh, this patient uh, would not have been a candidate for, for immunotherapy. So with all those data in hand, uh, this patient uh, was treated with carboplatinum pemetrexed, um, a very standard and, and, and well-tolerated frontline therapy, probably what I would have used at that time as, as well. Uh, this patient received those drugs, had some activity, but of course progressed. And in the refractory setting, uh, received docetaxel with ramucirumab. Again, you know, something that I've used in my practice quite often based on the REVEL trial data. That's a very active combination in the second line. 